Back now at 5.30, an oil well contractor's safety record is in question after a man was hurt following an explosion last Friday in a busy part of town. We're learning tonight the company responsible for securing an abandoned well has been inspected by Cal OSHA before. I looked into those violations and asked a legal expert what that could mean for a future legal case. A Bakersfield family continues to wait for news about a man hurt after an explosion threw him from a rig platform. Right now he's in stable condition. Um, internal bleeding has been stopped. Um, he's He's been awake. Around 8.30 on Friday morning, Leo Andrade was working for MMI Services, an independent well servicing contractor. According to the fire department, they were securing an abandoned well near California Avenue and Easton Drive. 66, truck 65 battalion 1. California and Easton. A report of some type of well that may have exploded uh, with a patient down in the area. After the explosion, we're learning that the company has been inspected by Cal OSHA a few times. The most recent case was for an accident involving a falling drill collar. That happened back in 2020 at the Round Mountain Road location where they received two violations. MMI services appealed those violations and one of the citations was removed. Attorney Matt Clark with Chain Cone and Clark says it's standard for OSHA and California's Geological Energy Management Division to investigate. If there is an injury on a work site and that injury is significant enough to result in a hospitalization, Cal OSHA has to be called out. Okay, that is the law. On the company's website, it says it has placed and will continue to place safety, regulatory compliance, environmental management as a highest corporate and individual priority. Clark has handled many cases related to the oil and gas industry and says accidents like this are not very common. That is an industry that has made enormous strides in the way of safety. Um, and so as a lawyer, just hearing about this case, it certainly raises questions as to what slipped through the cracks. As of now, an investigation is being conducted to figure out the cause of the explosion. According to the fire department, Andrade suffered major injuries to both of his legs. Currently, there's no time frame on his recovery, but Leo's wife says she's grateful for all of the community's support. We just, we know that we need an army full of prayer. Um, one to three gathered was just what we were thankful for, but to see the full community support um, meant the absolute world. He, he's a good man. He's a self, selfless, God-fearing, loving man, um, and he, he leaded everyone, you know. Um, he's a leader. He's been in this for 25 plus years. He knew what he was doing. Need a story investigated? Well, send it to Eyewitness News investigative team a tip by calling the number on your screen, 869-2929, or emailing us at bakersfieldnow.com.